Praise the Lord. We have a very special presentation. I would like to read this before we begin. We often hear of heroes on the news at night, how someone went into a fire to save someone else's life. But there's another hero that we rarely hear about, though her love and dedication are never in doubt. Often taken for granted, rarely glorified, still she keeps on going for the person by her side. She stands beside him every day, no matter what is thrown their way. For he was called from above to spread the message of God's love. And just as he was called, she was handpicked too. For it takes someone special to do what she must do. She's a godly woman. She has such grace, always a warm greeting, a smile on her face. She is the pastor's wife. She has to always look just right, always on time, through the, though the schedule's tight, from early morning till late at night. That's our pastor's wife. She's such a lovely lady, a true friend. She serves with love from deep within. She carries your burdens. She prays for you. But you won't know when she's feeling blue because she's the pastor's wife. She leads the praise team. She makes sure we're harmonic and on beat. She sings praises to the Lord with the anointing, without boast or conceit. After church, as she starts to walk up the aisle, some need to stop and talk for a while. Though she is tired, she has her own trials. She's patient. She's our first lady. Her life, her time is not her own. There's always a need. They go on and on. With a knock at the door or ringing of the phone, that's the life of our first lady. Her husband, she shares with a whole congregation. She humbly accepts his intense dedication. Yes, this is our first lady, Angelita Thornton. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on, you could do better. You could do better. <laughs> We take this time to say thank you and happy birthday, Lady T. Thank you for all you do for the United Church family. We're going to ask Lady Thornton to please come up, take her seat. We have some stuff. this morning as you see the crowd this morning they have come to show you love and appreciation um, they have all brought cards some of them are going to come up and read it themselves some of them have passed the cards to us and we have a few surprise cards all the way from out of state so we're going to ask all of those that have cards that want to read them to come up to the front and line up by sister Keisha Look at all this love.
before we begin, um, since we have such a, a long line, we're asking you to just read the expressions in your card only so that we can move expeditiously. Because I'm first, that don't mean nothing. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Birthday wishes for you. Thinking of you and wishing you a day filled with everything you enjoy. Wishing, too, that each new day brings you all that you deserve, all life's best blessings. Happy birthday. Your sister in Christ, Sister Ann Smith. First off, I just want to say happy birthday, Aunt Angel. I appreciate you so much. Ever since I was little, you know, I looked up to you in art. And, you know, I had a hard time when I was in high school, you know, doing art, you know, getting passionate about it. So I drew a picture of you or painted a picture of you of appreciation for you. I did have a card that's over there. But I want to show, I want to show my appreciation to you that I, I look up to you. Happy birthday. This is just a poem to celebrate your birthday. This is just a poem to celebrate your birthday. The sun is way up in the sky. The lake is filled with trout. You were younger yesterday. I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> Happy birthday, Aunt Angel. <laughs> Happy birthday, Aunt Angel. I wrote you a card. Galatians 5, 22 to 23, but the fruit of the seed is love, meekness, faith, goodness, long-suffering, gentleness, peace, joy, and temperance. May your fruit always shine bright so that we can always see it. Love you, Aunt Angel. birthday lady t may your spirit reach new heights as freely as a butterfly's wing may your heart be filled with joy the profile joy of simple things may your journey continue in peace as soon as early morning do may only roses line your path as you are stronger than you know more beautiful than you think worthier than you can only believe and more love than you can ever imagine this is my birthday wish to you Happy birthday, Lady T. A strong woman waits patiently while her roots grow deep into God's word. Over time, she becomes unshakable in her faith. She starts bearing fruit naturally and is full of life. People are attracted to her strength and growth, and many find rest and peace as they lean on her. When storms and trials come, as they always do, they won't be able to take her down. A few branches may be lost or pruned away, but in their place comes new growth and life. Happy birthday, Lady T. for you on your birthday. Hope your day is filled with colorful surprises and a mouth-watering treat. Happy birthday. God bless. Larry Williams. a prayer this morning for you. I know God heard it. I didn't ask him to send you treasures, but a far more lasting kind. I ask that he be near you at the start of each, at each new day to grant you health and blessings and spiritual friends to share you your way. I ask for happiness for, for you and all things great and small. But it was for his loving care 
I pray the most of all. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> now, um, I had to write stuff down because I can't remember, but it's my honor to read something that I've written in this card to my friend, my bonus daughter, Angel, Angelica, Angelica. <laughs> Happy 44th birthday. Let me, I'm going to put you up here. <laughs> we met over 20 plus years ago when the Evans family joined United. We connected immediately, and God blessed me to be able to pour into your life the virtues which I had been taught as a kingdom woman. Not that I could add anything to you as your own dear biological mother did an exceptional job in raising and preparing all of her daughters to be outstanding sisters, wives, friends, daughters, and mothers. But at least God has given me a chance to come before you a few good friends of, of which you are to me. I thank God for you as I dedicate this poem to you. Oh, the comfort, the inexpressible comfort of feeling safe with a person, having neither to weigh thoughts nor measure words, but to pour them out just as they are chafed and grained together, knowing that a faithful hand will take and sift them, keep what is worth keeping, and then with a breath of kindness, throw the rest away. Thanks for being my friend. being a friend. <laughs> okay. This card. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not going to do that. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> I'll just do that part. <laughs> but this is my card to you. Um, a beautiful woman is one who lives with grace and dignity, fire and passion, laughter and love. That's all for you. A beautiful woman is what you are. Okay, look, there's something in this card, but I'll hold on to it. Here we go. God has created you and rejoices in all that you are. God has chosen you and called you his very own. God has blessed you and made your life a blessing. Celebrating you and praying your day and the year ahead are full of God's goodness in every way. Happy birthday, Sister Sharon.
bless my spirit. Bless the people and all of those who came this evening. But it just really touched me that after your meeting, you came to me. And I am so good to see the Lord put in me another part that I thought it was a token. So I just want you to believe because not too often in life we come across genuinely good hearts. partake upon, but God won't put more on you than he knows you are able to bear. I am so happy God picked you. Happy birthday, Lady T. We love you. And I was trying to think, what should I give you, perfume or whatever? And God told me to give you a love gift. And I was like, are you sure, God? Because it's not a small amount. And he was like, give it to him. Okay. <laughs> to God who's first in my life, to everybody in that respectable place. I love you. Honest. I always keep things 100. And because you and your husband is one, I love you. That's how I can picture two with one. So I can't love him without loving you. I can't love you without loving him. And I am a trip to both of you guys. <laughs> I know that I could get on your last nerve, but I thank God. I was dying. I was dying. I had gave up. And I can never forget that prayer that we had. I did not know you could pray like that. I had no idea. No, I mean, I know you could pray. I know you got the Holy Ghost, but I had never heard somebody pray like I pray, like deeply ready, God, help me. And that's what you did that day. You was running, I think you was running at the park or something, you was running. And you was like, we're going to pray right now. I'm going to the car. And you was like, right now, sister buddy, right now. And it gave me a little bit of strength and we began to pray. We know what happens when God show up, two or more gather. And just instantly, I began to get strength. Just instantly, every doctor that was the head of anything in that hospital at Mercy, came in my room instantly. And I want to think it's because we were praying, we was doing what the Lord had us to do. You know I love you, yes, with everything in me. Sister Angel, you, um, you're my hero. You're one of them. I look at you. I, I do. I don't want to lie. I look at the way you dress. I look at the way you treat your husband. I look at the way you treat the saints. And I thank God that you always stay on point. Even when I think somebody is doing something to you and I have to pray for them, because they don't speak or they don't do this or they don't do that. Sister Betty, you're not doing this. or you're, I mean, Let me talk about myself. Sister Betty, you're not doing this or you're not doing that. Because I don't want to talk about nobody. I want to talk about myself. So God has helped me to see you. And it's a good thing that we have you. We should appreciate you. We should. More. More. Not just because it's your birthday. Um, I didn't bring no money. <laughs> But, you know, I'm going to hit the cash app when I get paid. I work with BG&E, so I got a little <laughs> bit of money. <laughs> so, indeed, I would, uh, I didn't want to, like, I did not want to not come and say happy birthday to you because I didn't have a card or a gift. Um, love is first. God is love, and I love you. Thank you, Lord. Happy birthday, sis. Um, even though I'm the oldest, I do look up to you in a lot of ways, and I really appreciate you. 
um, I have the recall, and it says, in the midst of your busy life, your birthday gives you a moment to reflect on what you mean to so many. You may feel happy knowing that your daughter warmly cared about deeply and wished every happiness. inspiration to me in my walk and uh, just thank you so much for that and I look up to you and I thank you for what you're doing sister God gives us the gift of years and he used them to chase dreams forge new things and follow our hearts and in those years God makes the daylight today your birthday is rich and reminded of God's love. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. May the coming year reveal more and more of God's wise and loving ways in your life. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Love, Sister Marjorie. Like Sister Antoinette said, uh, I shall be first. <laughs> but um, I won't read my card. It's a little personal. But um, I just want to say thank you for being a great example to me. Um, growing up, I really didn't appreciate you as I should. But um, as I grow a little older, I can really see how you work, how you, you work through the pain, you work through the suffering fatigue. I can see you at home when you always when you on the piano with her. You're always listening to the music. You always here early. She here at nine thirty in the morning. You know. Sometimes we struggling here to get an eleven. She here. She here leaving the house nine o'clock. I appreciate you for being a great woman of God, being a great example and showing me what I should be looking for and what I should be looking up to. So thank you so much. Happy birthday. celebrating you today. Let's take time to relish the warm sunshine, the bright blue sky, the beauty of the flowers and the sweet melody of the sunbird, songbirds. Creation is more vibrant today because we're celebrating you. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Loving Christ, Deacon and Sister Dingle. God bless you. For my sister on her special day. Your birthday gives me a chance to, to say the things I don't often say enough. Things like, I love you, and I'm so glad that you're my sister. Angel, we've been best friends since I was born. <laughs> You've always been the person who I look up to, the one motivating me. We have so many great memories with each other. I would have never thought that we would have married into the same family, too, even making our bond stronger. I've watched you mature into a wonderful woman of God. You truly are an example of godliness, faith, and strength. You are a strong person of faith. You are an excellent mother. God knew you could handle the challenges of your parenthood. You're 
you're an inspiration to me. I love you so much. Thank you for all you do for the music ministry, for United. We love you very much. Happy birthday. God designed you and made your life a blessing. God gifted you and rejoices in all that you are. Praying you enjoy your day and find God's goodness in every part of it. Happy, happy birthday to my sweet, quiet, and beautiful angel. May the Lord continue to bless you as you have been a blessing to me. We love you both, Elder and Sister Allen. birthday blessing for you. On your special day, may you see yourself the way God sees you, precious, honored, and loved. Happy birthday. I am so proud of the woman of God and first lady you have allowed God to mold you into. What an honor to be a part of this, this beautiful day. Love you to the moon and back, first lady. This comes from Sister Bell from Emmanuel of Columbia. A birthday blessing for you. May the good things the Lord has in store for you fill your coming year with many reasons to celebrate. Happy birthday to an awesome woman of God. May the blessings of God overflow over you today and always. Enjoy your special day. Love always, Mother Latson. This says, pray, pray. Pray on it. Pray over it. Pray about it. Pray through it. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And that, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. The scripture came from the message this morning. We, the prayer ministry, are praying for you that God will forever release his angels to encamp around you. Sister Williams, Sister Goodwin, prayer ministry. Last. God's abundant blessings for, on your birthday, I'm sorry. God's abundant blessings on your birthday. May God bless your day with a song in your heart, his joy in your step, and constant reminders of his incredible goodness as he takes great delight in who he made you to be. Happy birthday, love and blessings to Goodwin family. Lord Hayes was the worst thing. Happy birthday. <laughs> one reads there is glory in your story I know and you know that God is good so go walk out on faith find joy and live dream and do and grow and be blessed because he's brought you a mighty long way and he's not finished with you yet happy birthday from sister Renee and sister Sherry happy birthday Hope this wish is just the beginning of a terrific year for you. Happy birthday, love, Deacon and Sister Lane, Sammy and Shannon. You have your very own place in the world, one that God created you to fill in a one-of-a-kind way, and you're doing it beautifully. Happy birthday. Happy 
birthday, Aunt Angel. I pray your birthday turns out how you imagine, with deep appreciation and a very special prayer that God may bless you always and keep you in his care. You deserve everything that you are, getting and more. May you prosper and shine everywhere you go. Love, Jasmine and the youth ministry. When God made you, he did his very best work. So be yourself, shine your light for everyone to see. God made you to be the best kind of person, a giver, a day changer, someone I'm grateful for in so many ways. You're a real blessing and you're so worthy of praise both on your birthday and every day. Love. It's your day. If I could somehow customize a present just for you, I'd give you the most perfect day, a birthday wish come true. All things fun, your favorite friends, no worries, work or stress, chocolate cake, pink lemonade, cute shoes, a party dress. You feel relaxed and pampered from your head to your painted toes, and your favorite song will start to play everywhere you go, because you deserve the very best, you know, and all these ways and more. So birthday girl, go celebrate the 20. Love, Orista and Sister Tisha. Happy birthday. God bless you with all good things. Uh, before we have the kids come up, we do have a gift from United. Sing along, everybody. Happy
be coming a little more oftener now. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing these things. And uh, it's, uh, it's <laughs> it really is oftener now. <laughs> but uh, she is definitely worthy of it. She's worthy of it. I'm just very grateful. She is, um, she's my my best friend. You know, she's my best friend, and uh, we sit up and and talk to one another sometimes. Uh, I remember Bishop used to say a long time ago. You said, uh, "Women, when they are up, they talk." You said, "When they sleep, they talk. They still talk." <laughs> and sometimes. I'll roll over in the middle of the night. I do mean in the middle of the night. It can be in the middle, like three in the morning. I'll just roll over and, you know, and I'm stretching to get positioned in bed. And uh, she'll say, are you up? I said, I'm asleep. And I'll tell her I'm asleep. And she'll say, I was thinking. I said, oh, God, I got to get up in two more hours. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Jesus. <laughs> she's always thinking, and she's always, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's always for the betterment of the church. I have to say that I love this woman, and I want to say it publicly. I love you. I appreciate you. got to turn around and look at me, baby. <laughs> Y'all see how she do me after, after 20 plus years, right? I love you. I thank God for you. I appreciate you. You are one of a kind. I really treasure you. And the older you have gotten, the more beauty I see in you. And I thank you for everything. Thank you. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I truly am. Uh, this has really made my day. It really has um, made my day. I thank everyone who stayed here, everyone who came, all the cards, all the gifts. Just, and it, it doesn't even take much for me just to feel love. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take gifts. You know, um, I just thank you for your presence, your praise the Lord, your love. You know, Sister Brandon asked me, what do you want for your birthday? I said, just love. You know, um, sometimes it's, um, and it was just a blessing just to see so many of the women up here. I'm um, giving a card. Sometimes with women, <laughs> it can be hard with women, you know, sometimes, but just to feel the love and support um, from the women here is, it means the world to me, you know, because sometimes you could be in a position, but it doesn't mean you always believe in yourself. It doesn't always believe that you know, you feel like you're supposed to be there or you're the one, you know. Sometimes when I'm up here singing, I'm like, I know I sound a mess. <laughs> You know, the Lord just, you know, still blessed. So it's not always that a person that seems, you know, graceful or poised. It doesn't mean that they don't have insecurities or doubts or things within. You know, you may walk around with them all the time. But God, <laughs> I say, but God, it's only by the grace of God that I can even stand here. Because my confidence is not in myself. It's in God. You know, every day I seek him, every day I pray. Before I go up here, I say, Lord, help me, Lord, help me, Lord, help me. So, you know, it's not of my own, really. I just give all glory and honor to God, you know. I even thank him for choosing me. You know, this is something I didn't always want to do. I fought and I kicked against it for how many years? I don't want to do this. You know, I didn't come from much. We grew up five children. That's why I don't look for much. We didn't come from much. <laughs> you know, you know, living in the inner city, we didn't come from much. Um, so we learned 
how to be happy with little. You know, we always worked in the church. It was always something we always did. So it's just natural for me to work in the church because that's how I grew up, working. I mean, I did uh, many things when, as coming up a child, as a child. And so it's just in me to do it for the Lord, you know, not for glory, not for anything. It's for the Lord. It's for kingdom work. Um, I thank you. Um, for letting me know that I've inspired you. You've inspired me as well. You know, um, it works hand in hand. You know, I don't feel like I'm anything special. Just because I'm a first lady, the title don't mean nothing to me. It really doesn't. I mean, I know it comes with the territory. You know, it's not something I gloat in. You know, saying, oh, you're the first lady. It's not nothing I gloat in. You know, I just say, Lord, you chose me. I don't always feel like I'm capable or able, but I know you give me strength. You give me strength to do it. So I thank, I thank God. I, I just thank God. I can't do nothing without him. I'm nothing without him. I really do feel that way. And I thank God, you know, for my husband and just his ministry. And I do thank God for our friendship. We grew into this thing. You know, it took time. <laughs> you know, I encourage anybody getting married, it takes time to grow together. And, and as we go on, I, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful what God brought us to, but it took sticking in there, loving one another, going through, you know, taking the kicks and bumps and getting to the place of beauty. Like, wow, we here. Like, things, well, he used to annoy me. Stuff don't even annoy me no more. I just feel like, whatever, just keep keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's how much we know each other. It's just like, it's fine. You know, we don't even argue like, whatever, okay, whatever. Just keep it moving. <laughs> so I, I really thank God for bringing us to that place. And I love him. Um, I support him. I have his back. I really do have um, Bishop's back. Thank you for everyone who put their hands to it. Um, I know Sister LaShawn and Sister Keisha, I know y'all had the young people, Sister Brandon, I thank you. I really feel um, the love. And it's a blessing. You make my life less stressful. <laughs> I really thank the Lord, you know, for all the women, all the women. I know I talk to many. I may not talk to everybody. You know, I am kind of like an introverted person. But it's not, it's just, that's just me. That's the art thing in me. You know, we spend a lot of time alone drawing, just me, you know, so. Um, but I do love each and every one of you, um, really from the bottom of my heart. And I thank you. It means so much. Again, you made my day. You just don't know what this did just for me. And I, I just thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to prepare our hearts to amen and dismiss on today. Thank you for your patience. Amen. Uh, today has been an extended service uh, out of our ordinary, quite naturally. But uh, we're grateful for it uh, in the name of the Lord. So, uh, I remember the days where we used to uh, start uh, Sunday school at 10 o'clock and, and uh, finish at 11 and then uh, hang around 11.30 and then start service at 11.30 and then the choir. At that time, sometimes we had two, three choirs. They would sing. It would sing like almost an hour. By the time the praise got done, and then by the time Bishop got up to prepare to preach, amen, and Bishop would look at the clock about 3 o'clock, and he would say, I got about another hour I can preach. And I said, man, you already been preaching an hour and 15 minutes already. He said, and literally sometimes he would preach two hours. Two, that's a lot of preaching. Glory be to God. Amen. And with his inspirational style of preaching, glory be to God.
God, it was never boring or dry. And so we're very grateful. But we did that. Church would let out. Started basically at 10 o'clock. And sometimes we wouldn't get out till 4 o'clock. And then we had 6 o'clock service. Oh, praise the Lord. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then we would come back at 6 o'clock. And sometimes didn't get out till 9 30, 10 o'clock. And if you didn't show back up till 6 o'clock service, you would get rebuked. Y'all don't, y'all ain't gonna help me here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. And so we're grateful. Praise the Lord for your patience on uh, today. We honor the Lord. Amen. We honor each of you in Jesus' name. Fall minds and hearts are clear. Amen. We want to remind the saints that we will be in prayer on this Wednesday and Thursday, Bible enrichment uh, on Friday, glory be to God, and then back in uh, worship service on next Sunday. We want to be, want to ask the saints, uh, keep your eyes open, praise the Lord, there's a lot of things that are going on in our outskirts, uh, Russia, Ukraine. And sometimes the media is not really talking about it all together. Some things is hidden, uh, agendas, and uh, you've got these things going on with Taiwan. And you got to keep in mind China, and you've got Israel. And so there's a lot of things that are going on, a lot of things, and a lot of moving parts and commotion. And in the process of all of this, wars and rumors of wars and uh, sometimes we haven't seen anything bad yet and and some of uh, we haven't seen tribulation yet amen somebody and so we want to keep our eyes open keep our ears open but keep our mouths open praying and talking to the Lord because he shall sustain us praise the Lord somebody and so uh, things are going up. I, I don't want to scare anybody, but I would encourage the saints, uh, purchase some waters, use some wisdom, use some wisdom, purchase some bottled waters, have some things stored up. I'm not saying go crazy because we do trust the Lord, but God gave them wisdom when they were going to have the seven years of famine. They had seven years of plenty. God told them during the years of plenty, store up so that when the years of famine would come, you still will be able to survive. And so I want to encourage the saints of God. Amen. You may need to invest in some canned goods. Praise the Lord. We can't always eat high on the hog. Amen. And so use some wisdom and pray about it. Ask God to, to lead you and to guide you. Uh, praise the Lord. And so. We do believe in pre-tribulation. We do believe in pre, pre, uh, pre-trib. I, I do believe in pre-trib. Praise the Lord. I do believe that we're going to be raptured, Amen. But uh, sometimes we have to go through a season of some things. How much of that season that we may have to go through, we're not certain of. All right. And so we want to use some wisdom. Praise the Lord. Let's use some wisdom. 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 Amen. And let's ask the Lord to uh, bless us. And uh, just because we're living in the U.S. doesn't mean nothing is going to happen. Praise the Lord. Things are already tightening down with the chips. And I rode past a dealership yesterday. You barely see new cars on the lots. Uh, shortage of new cars. A shortage of everything. But all this stuff is governed. Uh, praise the Lord. It's politics all in it. It's money in it. Praise the Lord. And so... Uh, but God's people will still be blessed. Is that all right? We shall survive. We shall be blessed. Just look at somebody and tell them, we shall hold on. All right. God bless you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. I believe on next Sunday, uh, we're going to close out with uh, a short uh, black history. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, this is Black History Month, and so those that have... Amen. Uh, African attire, you want to wear that, feel free uh, to do so. We're going to uh, sing some, some hymns on next 
I don't want to call them Negro spirituals. <laughs> we're coming to worship the Lord, but we're going to sing some, some hymns on next week, praise the Lord. And so, uh, amen. And so, uh, we're looking to have a high time together in Jesus. Is that all right? All right. For all minds and hearts are clear, let's rest upon our feet at this time. Gracious Father, we thank you for all things. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this day that you have made. Thank you for every hand that has put a hand to the plow, have made a decision not to look back. Thank you for this great community of people. We are called by your name, soldiers working in the army of the Lord. We pray that you would continue to give us the proper intellect, outlook, perspective, the God that we know that we are overcomers that we are never defeated. We're simply just winners. Continue to lead us and guide us into every aspect of truth. Bless every heart under the sound of my voice. Keep us and we shall be kept. We give you praise and glory and with uplifted hands unto the Lord. And now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the throne of grace to our eternal God who has dominion both now and forever. Let all those that love the Lord say amen. Greet somebody in Jesus' name.